Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are going to be starting a Pokemon Coliseum today. One of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking really excited to play this. Uh, I actually recorded a whole episode already, uh, and the audio didn't record correctly. So, hoping that, crossing my fingers this time, that we are good to go, and hopefully the video records properly. Uh, I have to use my HD PVR, the, the old one, like the HD PVR, the hapage with the component cables, like the old, old one. Uh, to record this, because I don't have anything else to record GameCube with. So this is what this is what we're rolling with. I've got two laptop, I got a laptop set up, and then I'm recording on my old uh, desktop computer uh, the gameplay. And I'm just hoping that I can get this figured out and solved so that it works perfectly. Now I'm not sure there are black bars on my screen now, obviously, but uh, I will take care of that and put something on one of the sides so that we don't have uh, black bars. Uh, but let's get into this start a new story mode so Wes is the guy's name if you want to name him his real name but I'll just name him Nick after myself all right start this bad boy up now I can't technically see or hear anything uh, just the way I have to record this, I don't have any game audio. But I love the music for this game, and I just love this game. Wes is definitely the best protagonist ever in Pokemon series. Like, if you can give me someone better than Wes, then I'd be, I'd be surprised if you can give me someone better than Wes. And I love double battles in general, so that really helps with how much I like this game. And I just, I don't know, I really enjoy your starting Pokemon. I just enjoy everything about this game. Uh, but I thought it'd be a nice pairing to go along with Pokemon Go. Uh, I'm hoping that I won't have any video issues. Um, I need to... I don't exactly remember how to save in this game. Uh, I need to figure that out. If it's like the old po if it's, I don't quite remember. If it's like the old Pokemon games, or actually the new ones too, if I just don't save... If I just save at the beginning of each episode, then if something screws up, I can just reset the, the system get back to where we were. Now, how do you save? I don't think... You don't save here. Are there, like, save locations in this game? I think they are. I don't know. I think you save at, um... You save at... What am I trying to say? You save at... The... The Pokemon... The... The... Tr not the transfer... The box. The storage box. There we go. I can't, can't remember what it was called. But like I said, I thought this game would be a nice pairing with Pokemon Go. We'll be playing get XD Gale of Darkness probably as well. Uh, but as this is an old game, I do need to read all of the dialogue. So let's get into this. Uh, Fwa, we sure pigged out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It sound, it adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch today. Or two. I say today too. Boss will be sure to fix us up good with big rewards too. Hehehehe. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. The one thing I don't like about this game is like every character in it is just an idiot except you and like the final boss. That's about it. Other than that, mo most everybody's just an idiot. Uh, we will be talking to almost everybody. But let's start out with the news report. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eklo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout has discover was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Alright, so now let's go ahead and talk to everybody in here. I believe this guy wants to battle. I don't remember a whole lot about this game, but I do remember some pieces, and obviously I remember the beginning of the game. I think this is the guy. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Yes, I am. Heh, I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Eh, though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. There's no forgiving that Team Snagum. They don't deserve it. 
not when they steal p Pokemon from trainers. Why, I'd give a hip hip hooray if they were wiped out with their wrecked hideout. You know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you, crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. Wahahaha. <laughs> hey, do you know about Team Snagum? They're a seriously nasty lot. There's no telling how many trainers have suffered at their hands. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax. Stick around for a while. I don't have time to stick around. Yo, wait up. Hey, my name's Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So, what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure, Willie, let's let's do this. Yeehaw! That's the spirit. Alright, alright, over here this way. Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom vroom. Let's roll. Alright, well, you idiot. Ryder Willie would like to battle. Not really like I had a choice to battle. Alright, Zigzagoon. Two Zigzagoons, the most annoying Pokemon from 3rd gen. Noon is not bad, but Zigzagoon is just some hot trash, and this is why I love this game so much. Umbreon and Espeon are starting Pokemon, it is just glorious. I think Espeon one-shots a lot of things here at the beginning of this game. I think she one-shots Zigzagoon. Nope, no she doesn't. But she, I think she can. I think Espeon can one-shot a lot of things at the beginning. Sometimes she can, I think it depends on the... I don't know if the, I don't think the stats are all the same because when I did the first recording through this where it messed up, I did one shot that Zigzagoon. But I know you don't always one shot him, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. And I did get a critical hit, so that's not the reason I one shot him. But these two are strong enough they two shot together. So in one turn I take out eight Pokemon pretty much at the start of the game. Zigzagoon's down. Willy, you're a joke. Get some different Pokemon. I'm using Zigzagoons. Alright, engine towards level 27 and level 26. Tch, wiped out. I still need seasoning. Alright, 240 bucks. Not bad. If I remember correctly, you start with a decent chunk of money in this game, too. You start with like 10 grand. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills at Phoenix City? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. Alright, so let's head to Phoenix City. I love the map in this game, too. It's such a great map. And I love how you have this bad, badass bike. It's just a great looking bike. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. Makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! Tch, that tape didn't keep her meap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, Jarrett, did that punk there hear all that? Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Shady Guy Foley. Ooh. Wismer versus... Wismer and Wismer. Boy, does that scare me. I'm just gonna go... Go for the 24 first. This might one shot. Yeah, that one shot is 24. All right, so now we just got the 25 left. Ooh, Umbreon almost level 27. I 
don't exactly remember which legendary Pokemon you catch in this game. Is it? Is it just the legendary? Is it the legendary dog? I don't even remember what what I catch in this game. I remember XD Gill of Darkness a lot more vividly than I remember this game, even though I like this game. This game is probably second favorite Pokemon game. It, it's probably tied first with uh, Ruby Sapphire and Slash Emerald. Those three games probably sit at the top. You know. Shady guy fully defeated. Gah, you're tougher than you look. Maybe you just suck more than you think. Oh, you gave me a lot of money for winning. 500 bucks. You took out my Wismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? I feel like anybody could beat your Wismer. Huh? Wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Snagums? What? What? What's going on out here? Eek! Somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! You be quiet. We're no robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers. What? You dingbat. Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. Next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon, and all. I don't know what the all is for. It should just be I'll trash you and your Pokemon. Oh, yuck. There's someone inside there. And I'm not sure that's why you... I'm not sure that's an appropriate time to say, oh, yuck. God, this is tight, good and tight. Can you believe these people? What a horrible thing to do. Here, let me do it. This sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot, I guess. Nick tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Nick undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Oh, not her. Phew, thank goodness, I'm saved. Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Phoenix City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Th thank you. And, uh, who you are? Oh, so your name Nick. I am... Alright, I don't have a name, so I'm just gonna name her after Siri from Witcher, because I can't think of anything else. I was trying to think of something, but... It really doesn't matter what her name is. It's not like she has, like, any dialogue, really. Like, she doesn't have, like, her own voice actor. Like, it doesn't really matter. I have to read for her anyway, so it doesn't really matter who she is. My name's Siri. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys. Did, did they use a peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar? Oh, no. No, that's fine, then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Nick, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? So this is one of those stupid questions you have to answer yes to. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, I thought you might say it. Yeah, yeah, I know you thought I'd say that, because I can't progress in the game unless I say yes. If you're with me, Nick, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. She became my partner. And... Here we go. We're gonna run around and talk to almost everybody. Talk to this guy first. You know, you two make one attractive couple. Makes me a little envious. Bro, I've known her for like a minute. Get, it's been a hot minute. Let, let, we don't even know her. You're calling us a couple? The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square Pass. Okay, I already talked to you. I already, yeah, I already knew that. Okay. Is this guy... There was some ruckus going on here. You're right here, bro. Like, two feet. Move two feet to your left and you could have seen it all. That stupid palm tree wouldn't have been in your way. It'd be better not to be the goons again from the next town over. Well, it was. Um, we'll do the PC and the shop over there. Where's that kid that's chasing the... Where is he? He's not here. Why is the cast for him all by himself? Alright, I think this guy wants to battle. What fine weather this is. It's truly a perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle. Alright. Fun old man, Drig. 
It just sounds creepy. Alright, at least this old guy didn't have to go with the same Pokemon. But Hoodoo and Sentrin are pretty much just as bad. The beginning of this game starts a little slow and it's really easy, but it does pick up a little bit. Uh, it just maybe an episode or two. I think it's probably another episode. Um, let's do this. This game was so good when it came out. Like, just the graphics and all that different stuff were just so well done when it first came out. Like, it's not that impressive anymore. Like, at this point. Oh, no, it's just... Uh, like, they're not amazing anymore, but they still look pretty good. I'll be honest, they don't look bad. So this is one of the cool features of this game, is the, is the call feature. I'll show you here. We'll fight the Sentrids. You can call your Pokemon to wake them up, which is a really cool feature in this game that's not in any other po It might be in XD Yellow Darkness, but if it's in that, that's the only other game. But you know what I mean. This is one of the only games that allows you to do that. I think it's the only one. You may be able to call an XD, but... You, I think you, you guys know what I mean. I just said like the same thing twice, but it's a really cool feature. It makes awakening kind of useless, but it, it, it's still a really cool feature in the game. So let's kill this Hoot Hoot. Or knock him out. Please tell me I'm Rion's fan. Okay. I didn't want to take any more unnecessary damage. Goodbye, Hoot Hoot. Ooh, Espeon's almost 26. Uh, the one cool thing I like about this game is that your Pokemon start with some XP, so it's kind of like you were, you're an established trainer, you know what you're doing, you're not like a newbie just starting out like almost every other game. That's what I really like about this game. Whoa, I've got to concede this one, lad. Ooh, old man gave me a lot of money for beating them. Uh, that's just one of the really cool things I think about this game is just that it's just completely different from any other Pokemon game. Uh, ah, yes, you're young, but you've got a bit of spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well done, indeed. Right, let's go into this building. I don't think there's anything important, but we'll just go in here and talk to everybody. There's been nothing but news about Team Snagum on every channel all day long. Usually they'd have at least one channel showing anime or something. Grumble. This is a repeat of an earlier news story. A Team Snagum member was arrested after being found hiding in Eklo Canyon after the Snagum hideout explosion. During interrogation, the Snagum member revealed that the explosion resulted from a clash between Snagum members. The explosion apparently destroyed the Snag Machine used for stealing Pokemon. However, it is said only the large Snag Machine was destroyed. The small portable Snag Machine appears to have been taken by the Team Snagum member who blew up the Snagum hideout. So that, that, that's obviously me. I'm the badass who stole the, the snag machine. That Team Snagum doesn't frighten me. After all, where those people are is far away from here. They wouldn't come out here. The thugs of Pyrite Town, they're much more frightening to me. I think we'll just finish up Phoenix City in this episode. I think we'll just do all of it. Uh, oh, are you traveling? Ah, uh, I envy you. Is it a journey to become an expert trainer, or a quest to meet Pokemon? Either way, you make me jealous. I think it's kind of a... for both. I don't know why this was just so much fun when you were a kid. Is not only knocking him off his route, but... I can't do... I don't know if I can do it anymore. It's slowing up that cast form. Instead of cast form chasing him, he's chasing cast form. I can't get it anymore, I don't think, because I slowed him up first on accident. And you're just a little bit slower than him. Like, look at this, you can never catch up. You can never catch up. Okay, let's, let's not. Okay, so the gym isn't important here. I'll just talk to him. Um, I really look up to Justify, the leader of the pre-gym. He's really cool. Of course, he's a really tough trainer at Pokemon Battles, too. It's just somewhere where you can practice, or I guess if you've never played Pokemon before, you can kind of learn how to battle a little bit more. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. This town was peaceful before, but lately it's been turning rougher. It's because of the thugs that live in Pirate Town, which is the next town over. They've been showing up here. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Let sleeping dogs lie, that's what I'd say. Sometimes that's not your choice. <laughs> They're thugs, they aren't sleeping dogs. 
Alright, so then we got this guy. A long time ago, this area was barren of life. Neither people nor Pokemon could live on this blighted land. It was the mayor's grandfather, the first mayor, who founded Phenac by drawing water to this parched land. Hello, are you travelers? Don't you think Phenac is a very nice place? But you're thinking about going on? You should be careful. There's a town called Pyrite ahead. That place is filled with thugs and other nasty people. I believe there's another battle to be had back here. I'm no good at schoolwork, but I'm pretty hot stuff at Pokemon battles. You're a trainer too, aren't you? Let's duke it out. Let's battle. Alright, here we come, and there's no holding back. Roller Boy Cave. Cave, where are your parents? Where did, why did they name you Cave? I need to have a word with your parents about naming children. Cause that is just that is just a horrible name. I still haven't healed my Pokemon, but I don't think I can use it as open heart. Let's take out the wormhole first, I guess. Oh, okay, I was like I for some reason I was like, really? I, I was looking at the recording, making sure it was all still rolling and whatnot, and I worked looked back and Wurple wasn't dead, I was like, did, did both of my attacks go and I didn't kill Wurple? Ooh, Espeon may level up after we knock Silcoon out of here. Okay, thank you for using Heart. Should be able to should be able to faint you this next turn. It's so much easier to say kill instead of faint. Doesn't sound right. I'm gonna faint you. Ooh, the one shot. We're on. Come on, Espeon. Espeon 26. Yeah. Alright, not bad. 26 Espeon, 27 Umbreon. We're rolling now. Ouch! No, that wasn't supposed to happen. Cave, $150, Cave? Come on, man. That's all you got? I don't think I... I didn't think I'd lose. Big guy, you're tough. I want you to have this since you're so good. Obtain TM41, which I believe... Is, is it Frustrated? Or no, it's Torment. It's Torment. I don't... I don't really have a use for Torment, so we're not gonna put that on. I guess we'll go into this gym real quick. We're gonna do whole Phoenix Town, so let me just go in here. This is kind of a pointless area. Is there an item in here? Do I think that there was an item? No, there isn't. I'm stupid. Okay, so we have this lady. Hello, I'm Jesse. I'm in charge of running the pre-gym. Judging by your appearance, I'd say that you're a traveler, the two of you. You're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're re already here, do you feel like having a battle? Sure. Okay, then let me introduce you to the trainers of the pre-gym. When you're ready to go, go to the battle arena in the center and stand on the left side. Alright, what is this? That's nothing, okay. Let's go talk to everybody first here. Good luck battling. Okay, I like it. Short and sleep. We got this. Oh goodness, you're going to battle? Be confident in yourself. A Pokemon battle right before my eyes. Nothing can teach me better than that. You get to bat. What? You get to battle? You're lucky. I'd rather battle than study too. Is it this one? Wait, who am I? Who? Wait, who says the? What the? I'm going to examine the way you battle with a keen eye. Okay, let's get out of here and battle. Alright, Nick, go for it. I'll be right here cheering. Looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. In all, you'll be facing four trainers. They're all a handful. I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponent enters. Alright, so this is... I actually haven't done this gym in a while, so... We do fight four people here. I do want to try to do a little, almost everything here, so... I don't have a problem doing this gym. Do you feel like taking on some grass-type Pokemon? Then I'm the one you want. I think I'm going to, uh, I think this first episode will be like an hour. Uh, the first time I recorded, I didn't battle at this gym, and it was like a 20, or it was like a 40 minute video. Now I gotta do four Pokemon battles here, so it's gonna be like an hour. But I, 
If I can experience her, that's not gonna work, but I guess in confusion some curve. One shot? Oh, come on, man. You can't do that to me. Umbreon is so much weaker than Espeon on this game. It's like a joke. Oh, get some of your health back, Sunker. Oh, a whole three damage. Alright. Fight Sunker. Fusion Hop Hip. Hop it down, and Sunker should be easily down. Actually get pretty good experience from this, so I'm happy to battle this gym right here. Sunk her down. Alright, cool trainer boat. How do you like that? You're more than strong enough. Ooh, that 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 money though. Give me that 810 bucks. I'm going to toughen up some more. I hope you keep working too. Obviously, I'll need to keep working to beat you. So, what's your plan? Do you do you keep chugging on with your battle challenge? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Let's get the next battle started. Leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you just how strong water type can be. You better have some cool water Pokemon. Not some hot. I already know you're gonna have some hot trash. Meryl and Surskin. I knew it. I knew you were gonna have some hot trash. This chair that I'm sitting in is so annoying. Like, I'm, I'm not sure you guys can hear it, but it just like makes noise weird. It makes like screeching noises. Like that right there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But I can't, like, move in this that much or just make loud noises. I know it completely dis defeated the purpose of me telling you that if I'm trying to be quiet and making the noise on purpose, but I just wanted you guys to know what it was if you hear it in videos, because I'm not in my usual setup. I'm in kind of a different area. Okay, your water Pokemon actually are doing alright. They're holding up. But this is like an old chair. Uh, and it's a really nice chair, it's just heavy, and um, we had it, like, reupholstered, and now it makes, makes a little screechy noise. Not too big of a deal. Let's get, back, let's get back to Pokemon, though. I just wanted to tell you guys that in case you heard it. Alright, how much damage am I going to do to this Surskit? Eh, not bad. He'll be down next turn. There's Meryl down. Oh, now I get a critical hit. I couldn't get a critical hit before. It would have knocked Meryl out. Now I get it then. Alright, Cirrus gets down. Oh, Cirrus get is confused. Oh, and it actually got its agility off. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. And Cirrus get is down. I was impressed by your Pokemon. Uh, 810 more dollars. This is nice. I'm gonna get a bunch of money from this. My goal is to become the ultimate water type battler. Back to more training for me. So what's your plan? Do you keep? Uh, yes, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, okay. Let's get let's get this started. Is it you? Did you want to battle me? You don't look like a trainer. Well, it doesn't matter. You can learn from how a proper trainer battles from me. Kid, you're like a foot shorter than me. Get out of here. Your name is Dugo. You can't try to roast anybody when your name is Dugo. I'm 
Umbreon and Espeon. Let's mop the floor with this kid. Bite. Let's bite Swine Up and your Fusion Trapage. Wow, that wow, that did really good on Swine Up. That bite was powerful on Swine Up. Ah, and Swine Up's digging a hole. And sand attack. Alright, I'm not going to be able to kill Swine up this turn. He's underground. Level up quickly in this game so far. I can't, I, I can't fight him because he's underground. I'm going to... Hold up, hold up, who's attacking here? Let me attack with Umbreon. Let me just heal Espeon with a potion. We're good. Umbreon, finish off Swine Up, thank you. Alright, final trainer. You're tough, even though you don't look it. Yeah, get out of here, you little kid. Yo, you only gave me 540 bucks? You insult me, and then you only give me 540? What is that? The way you battle is, uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Maybe you just suck, Dugo. Maybe you're just a horrible trainer. And I just destroyed your life. Alright, so what's your plan? Do you keep chugging? Yes. Yes, Justy. I want to keep battling. I didn't come here to beat three traitors and then leave. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Lady Gwyn. It's like Dark Souls all over again. Geodude and Rhyhorn. Wow, you got some good Pokemon. I'd take that Rhyhorn. I've got this, like, warped you of Pokemon now from Pokemon Go, like, oh, I'll have a, I need to evolve my Rhyhorn into a Rhydon. I need Rhyhorns in this game now. Uh, let's bite. Let me get Rhyhorn out of here, because I think he's the one that scares me the most. Okay, we might be able to knock him out of here. Come on, Umbreon. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Rhyhorn down. Ooh, almost 28. Ooh, almost 27. This is actually a good idea to fight here. I didn't actually think... I thought you just fought one person, and it was like a practice fight, but I was clearly wrong. Can we take Geodude out with two attacks? Uh, yeah, you are dead, Geodude. And Umbreon is 28. Nice. Do I get to fight Justy now? I must commend you for a battle well played. You better not give me five... You! Why did the little kids give me such low money? Why don't I fight them first? My battling style must have been too sophisticated. I beat you. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Dude, these little kids... They take multiple L's each time I beat them. Also, what are they wearing? They take an L for that, too. Whoa, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. Oh, sweet. Ooh, a white herb. You don't have a full party of Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come see me. Again, that's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, so when I get six Pokemon, I gotta remember to come back and fight Justy. Alright, so now we can go talk to the mayor. Hmm, 
I guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. That guy just looks like a bad guy. He just looks like one. Shudder. Did you see that man's eyes? They were so cutting and cold. Look at me. It's not cold, but I'm covered in goose pimples? Shudder. Goose pimples? Goose bumps. What? Super potion. Three of them. I love the item boxes in this game. I like them more than like a... An item laying on the ground. Alright, let's go talk to the mayor. Ah, uh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I am SK, the mayor. Now you wanted to see me? Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Um, er... Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine, and that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, 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 my. Pokemon like a fighting machine, and it attacks people. Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm. I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no, no. There is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer. You appear to be Pokemon trainers yourselves. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtaking, beautiful stadium befitting our Oasis City. Alright, so let's go ahead head up here. This creepy chick up here. Let's talk to her. Oh, hi. Aren't you a cute guy? Giggle, giggle. It must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Are you, are you like the... Is that her purse? Is that a purse? Is she like the mayor's mistress? Like, why are there clothes on the bed? Why is she up here? Why is she telling some guy with a girl next to him that she thinks he's cute right next to a bed? Pokemon implying things right now. Alright, let's go up to Pokemon Stadium. And then we can go to the Pokemart and the Poke... Oh, let's talk to this dude. Hold on. Hi, did you know? Isn't it amazing? I think he talks about Team Snagum. They say that Team Snagum's hideout was blown up. Who could have done such a thing? That would be me. Okay, so this is like one of the more fun things that you could do in Pokemon Coliseum once you've beaten the game. Is get rid of her. Yeah. I'm free! I'm free! No, she's back. Alright, let's grab this. Isn't the city stadium amazing? Oh, I wish I could soon battle at a stadium as fabulous as this one. Hi, are you there to take part in the challenge too? Oh yeah, well me too. I came here hoping to participate in the challenge, but I was disappointed. By the time I arrived, the challenge had already started. I wanted to win this knockout challenge. I would have liked to win the cash prize and the technical machine, aka TM. Welcome to Phoenix Stadium. This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Alright, well, let's go on out. And we've got company. Hey, Nick, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you ripped off the snag machine. You've got some nerve. Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Snagum? And what did they mean by traitor, Nick? You mean... That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snagum, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. No way. Is it true, Nick? 
If I say yes, will you leave me alone? Oh, so it is true. That's a little shocking. A little shocking? Since you're too blind to tell that that's a snag machine on my left arm, I would think it'd be a little more shocking. Hey, Nick, come on, hand it over. Get back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Nick, do you really have something like that? What do you think is on my left arm, you idiot? The snag machine built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth, keep that stuff secret. I get it, Nick. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What, what do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. Bro, I said like one word. I said yes, I was a part of Theme Snagum. That's about it. Alright, whacking. Awaken. Poor fish and coughing. Alright, I think I'll confusion the coughing and bite the poor fish. I might be able to one shot. I think I can one shot the coughing. Just the way this game goes, I'm pretty sure I can knock this coughing out of the count. Coughing faded. Ooh, I'm bringing, Ooh, Espeon might level up here. Yes, she did! Level 27, Espeon. Nice. Umbreon. Do some decent damage here to poor fish. Alright, I'll take it. Not bad. Ooh, Vice Grip. Poor fish down. Nice. This is a nice amount of experience I'm getting. No, I'm not good enough, clearly, since I just beat you. Oh, 270 bucks, thanks a lot. Blast you, Nick. Don't think this is over. We're going to get that snag machine back. Just you wait. Well, what do you know, Nick? So you're from Team Snagum. All right. To be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Nick. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Nick, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs. That's what I was thinking. We need to go get some Pokeballs. We're going to go to the uh, Poke Center first and get healed up. And I want to check how he saved this game because I forget. Oh, here there's, there's that dude. This gas worm chasing him. Let me make sure this is how you- is this how you save? Uh, yes, this is how you save. Okay, that's what I thought. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. We restored your Pokemon to full health, thank you. Hey, big guy. Look, look. This is really neat. See? It's a map of Phoenix City. Isn't it cool? It is pretty cool. I wish I could look at it. Oh, you must be travelers. Are you Pokemon trainers, too? Yes, I am. I knew it. I was certain that you were. Well, if you want to make a record of your progress, you should save the, at, on the PC at the back. The PC at any Pokemon Center is available for use by any trainer. That PC can be used not only to save your progress, but also to access the Pokemon storage system. Things sure have become easy and convenient. Whoa ho 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 ho. I think there's... I don't think there's anything down here to do. There's just another one of these. And this is how you transfer between Pokemon um, Ruby and Sapphire in this game. Which was pretty cool at the time. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the Pokemart. Hello. If you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies at the store there. Or at the shop there. I recommend it. After all, it's my ha uh, <laughs> uh, well, anyway, that shop has the best reputation around these parts. I bet it does, coming from the guy who owns it. 
I doubt, or I don't have a Pokemon of my own yet, but I come here every day. They have all sorts of Pokemon merchandise here. It's fun to just look even. Huh, Pokeballs? Come to think of it, I haven't seen any being sold in this town. Oh wait, I think I heard someone saying that they sell Pokeballs at the outskirts stand. It's east from here. It's e this doesn't make any sense. This is not good grammar. It's east from here, Fenac. It's modeled after a locomotive, so you won't have any trouble finding it, I think. Let's talk to the kid. Aw, oh, boo, I keep getting figures that I don't want. Darn, the one I want, or once, under that capsule. Okay, so down here, this is just kind of a general store. It's got potions and stuff. Let's go ahead and buy... Let me buy uh, 11 potions. Oops, not what I wanted. 11 potions. Bring me up to 15. I think that's all that I need. And then up top here is the other... It sells X attack and dire hit and all that junk that I never... I don't think I ever have used. Dire hit, guard spec. I never use any of those, so I don't buy it. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. No one sells Pokeballs around these parts. That's common knowledge. The guy that runs the outskirts stand used to sell them before, but you have to keep that a secret. Yeah, so let's just talk to some random guy and tell him about it. An antidote cures a poisoning, paralyze heal cures par paralysis, and awakening wakes a Pokemon from sleep. But if your Pokemon falls asleep in a battle, just call out its name. That will wake it up. It doesn't get cheaper than free. Alright guys, so I think that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and in the next episode we will head on out uh, to the outskirt, uh, to that locomotive where we started out the game at, and we'll get ourselves some Pokeballs. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out!